the conversation. Now then, does your other half send you off to blissful sleep or do they keep you up all night with their bedroom antics? Like stealing the covers, maybe rattling the windows with their unbearable snoring. Well, if that sounds like your nightmare, sleep expert James Wilson is here and you are really the king of sleep, aren't you, James? I, I am the king of sleep, that's right. Yeah, because you, you've helped lots of famous people, footballers and all sorts. I've, I've, I've had footballers, celebrities, government ministers, I've had even people score at Wembley who I've worked with. Oh, what? So you get help them get the good night's sleep the night the before? The night before, that's it, yeah. Ah, excellent. And we have also got, very weirdly, in between us, we've got Dave and Sandra. <laughs> Lunchmates who are here in bed because you two don't get on, do you? Sometimes at night, we never get on at night. Fine. We are uh, we've been married 30 years and we are still having duvet wars every single night. I like it freezing cold. David likes it boiling hot. Yeah, when, when she's talking about freezing cold, we're talking about if you, the window could be open, it's minus 10, she's got a fan on, I'm absolutely perished. <laughs> <laughs> James, how can we solve and help this problem and help lots of people as well who, you know, have this issue? That's it, it's a very common problem. I work with it a lot and, and we're going to help both both Dave and Sandra and the, and the, the country not end up in the divorce cause to, to yeah. sleep. So first tip is um, we want we want the right bedding. We are looking to, 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 to get the right bedding. You could you could maybe have um, toppers that are dual control, so each side you could have duvets that are stuck together, like one and a heavy yeah. one stuck together. Um, but I've done something quite simple and cheap. So Dave Sandra, can you do the honours please? I was wondering what we were going to show them. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Two duvets. Uh, Revolutionary, uh, two yeah. duvets, and it's good for, for two reasons. So first of all, around the around the, the temperature. <laughs> around Don't the te mind us, Sandra. <laughs> around the temperature, we have Sandra is in a four and a half ton duvet, a bit lighter. Is it that has, just a single duvet, or is that a special? Oh yeah, a single one. Just a single one. duvet, and yeah. and for, for Dave, we have a we have a ten and a half ton, a little bit, little bit, a little bit heavier. Also, he stops the duvet walls. He mm. stops the battle. Peace will reign in their bedroom because. Because this 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 duvet. Also, um, the good thing about two duvets is you can have different different actual duvet covers. For Sandra, we have got bamboo bedding. This bamboo is from Fogarty. It is sold through Dunelm and it starts about thirty quid. Bamboo is great because it wicks away moisture, so it creates a really nice dry environment for for, for Sandra. For Dave, we've got something a little bit more snuggly and lovely, just like him. We've got we've we've, we've got some teddy bedding that'll help <laughs> keep him nice and warm. Um, sometimes people sort of talk about they don't look like having two duvets on. It can look a bit funny, so you can you can put the throw back on. You can dress the bed. Um, we, we did do this earlier, so you can you can you can maybe see on the screen how, how this looks. There you go. It looks yeah. perfect. So you know it, the only people seeing your bed is, 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 is David and Sandra. The burglars might do, but if burglars in your house, you'll have a lot more things to worry about. Yeah, you said. Have you got any other tips there? Yeah. Cause... So and, so yeah, another tip we have got: um, don't be a pillow dictator. So in every relationship, there's one person buying the pillows. Yes. Which one is it? Out of you two? Nice, there you I go. Ha happens a lot. And the thing about pillows is it's very individual. So you want your pillow to keep your head straight, as if you're. If I, like, I'm looking at you now, yeah. perfectly straight. That is that is a, a, a pillow's a pillow's job. So can you get into your sleep positions for me, so I can see yeah. how you sleep? This is more about you Put than I ever down. thought I'd learn. <laughs> There we go. So Dave, sleep from his side. Um, needs a deeper pillow. Needs some little bit deeper. Oh, no fills the shoulder space in. Yeah. Um, if you sleep on your back, you want something shallower that fills the back of your head. Sandra, no, 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 no. I do not like this. <laughs> Front sleeping is, is not good because you're in an engaged position. If you can see, Sandra's arms above her head, yeah. shoulders, back, bum, knees, all engaged. Not good at all. But do not worry, Sandra. I have a solution for you. If you just look down the side of your bed, you've got a, a, a pillow, a body pillow. Oh. Um, you could also use a maternity pillow. Just give that a hug like it's Dave for me, if you won't mind. Yeah. Don't be shy, you can, you can wrap your legs around it. There you go, <laughs> lovely. Um, and what this does, it puts it puts, uh, puts Andrew in like a, 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 a more neutral position, a more healthier position. Yeah. Do this for a couple of weeks, you start to get used to sleeping inside. That's how I sleep like that with the, do, uh, with the pillow. Well, that's it. Isn't it? Perfect, perfect. There you go. So, 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 so yeah, that, 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 there we go. So, um, that's a good idea. I like that. Um, now, Dave, you had a question, didn't yeah. you? Well, about... the other problem I've got, as you said, about the dictator is that with the, it's, the, the, uh, it's the light and, and, and the noise, and she can't stand any of that. So, I'm, so I'm trying to read my book like this with a little torch underneath, you know, like it's, it's not very pleasant. You're making me bad. <laughs> So again, quite a common problem, and we can solve this easily. It's about compromise. One word for you both: compromise. A compassionate conversation. Sandy, you've got a little, a little headband on on, the, on your bedside table. If you wouldn't mind putting that on, 
and just pulling it over your eyes. So this is this is a, this is a, a headband headphones that's from okay. Amazon, about eleven pound ah. eighty seven. And what this does is it, it allows allows Sandra to listen to some lovely pink noise. So this is what Sandra likes in. Blocks the light out, and Dave can read to his heart's content. Oh, that's nice. Is it comfy? Oh, it's lovely. Can you all hear that? It can now, yeah. <laughs> is it is it nice? Sandra? Oh no, it's brilliant. Yeah, comfy as well. Really, yes. <laughs> I don't think Sandra's with us anymore. No, that's doing? it. And Sandra, what, what, what does they do to annoy you? What does he do to Just whatever he did then, what was she doing? I wasn't doing anything. You were being naughty, wasn't you? No, you're not right. <laughs> but you, um, yeah, you've got an issue with the snooze button, have you, Dave? Oh, oh. yeah, yeah, you have, haven't you? Oh, the snooze button, don't get me going. He's terrible, he's always pressing the snooze button. That alarm drives me crazy. Perfect, perfect solution for you. Swap your alarm clock. Swap your alarm clock. Because snooze button syndrome is a horrible, horrible thing. So you, you might, you, you might have noticed there's a light here. This is a, this is from Lumi. It is um, we, we, we can get it through Argos about forty quid. And this is a sunshine alarm clock. It rises like the sun. There you go. Look here. It rises like the sun over about thirty minutes. It pulls you out of the deepest stages of sleep. Because the worst thing is that 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 na 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 <gasps> shocked into wakefulness. So this is a perfect solution to that. No, I love these. It's really really yeah. good. I love them. This is solving all your problems, David, oh, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. I'm glad you came. We've got. Uh, we're going to broaden it out though, because I know Gareth, you wanted to ask a question, didn't you? Yeah. So I love my husband very very much, but we spend half our life in separate beds because. He is unfortunately a snorer, and he's worse when he's been for a drink. Is there anything you can tell us to um, to, to stop him snoring? Yeah, that's a very common, a very common issue. I, 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 I suffer from this, and Mrs. Wilson does not like it. So I've got, yeah. I have got a solution. Um, you can have a spoonful, a tablespoonful of olive oil uh, before bed. So Gaffer, I think you might have, you might have a, sp a spoon there. You can you can give it a go. Um, so, and, and what yeah. this is, it's an anti-inflammatory. So it reduces the inflammation from alcohol or spicy food. So a really good tip if you're oh, snoring your wow. life. Oh, wow. And it, does it, what does it taste like? Well, right, again. <laughs> what, did you take a drop of that and spoof? Oh. <laughs> it's hanging. Yeah. <laughs> Does he take spoonful kids. on every day? Yeah, no, when he's had a drink or a spicy curry, love. So every day? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, uh, Nina, you had a question. Uh, yes, sorry, I'm just reading from that. Um, I, uh, yes, I do. Um, how do I stop worrying at night? Because my husband said that he can fall asleep no matter what's going on in the world. Whereas I am always thinking about, you know, what's happening? Are my kids okay? Is everything okay? So how do I stop worrying? Worry is a really, really bad thing for our sleep. So what we, what we can do with this, as you go to bed or in the middle of the night, a good tip is called the, the technique. So we can all do it together. So if everyone can close their eyes, put your feet on the floor. Imagine a white light at the end of a tunnel. Breathe in for four and out for seven. Just say the word the over and over and over again. And you start to feel your heart rate drop. Because that's what we're trying to get, a drop in heart rate, to feel the relax before bed. And the reason we use the is it's a neutral word. If you used... And or you sleep, you can connect to, to, to things that aren't so great. So yeah, the, the technique. So there you go. That, that you just keep going. Da, 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 da. Until sleep comes and you drop off into sleep. Not quite as fast as that step. That might be a little bit, a little bit weight from us, but <laughs> a little bit slow, a little bit more mindful. Yeah. You can drop into <laughs> sleep. Um, I actually feel quite sleepy now. <laughs> Amazing. And, and there you go. This yeah. is how we can sleep better as, as couples. Excellent. Right, we'll leave you to it. Uh, James, thank you very much. Thank Not you very to much. that, I meant to leave. <laughs> now, still to come, she's worked with some of the scary